So let's take a look at that slingshot. I had a couple of questions about the slingshot trade yes, uh, over the weekend and, and uh, this week. Some traders. Let's go over that. Let's go look at yesterday's price action. We'll go into today's price action. Let's look at the entire session, actually, or from midnight all the way to the close. So let's look at midnight. In fact, we'll just go ahead and look at today's action also. Let's look at to, uh, yesterday, the 19th, midnight, all the way to this morning's price action. So we know these zones are very critical to our trading. Um, if they are red zones, we're looking to be net sellers. If it's green zones, we're looking to be net buyers. So when we get into these zones, when we get into these zones, we have two types of zones. And this is the questions, some of the questions I had. We have a deep zone, which is categorized between these two ATRs, and we have a shallow zone. The shallow zone. We have a deep zone and a shallow zone. So what you want to do is, is that a slingshot is where you have a full retracement where the small signal line or oscillator down here, you got a thick green, a, a thick magenta one and a thin magenta one. A slingshot is where you get the small oscillator that actually gets above this 80 level on shorts and then gets back below this bear line. I mean this bull line, sorry, this bull level, which is between 80 and, I mean 40 and 20, sorry. So 40 and 20, here's your bull zone. So for slingshots, you want to cut through that bull zone, right? So, so we have a bear zone up here for buys that we want to cut through. And then we have a bull zone for sells that we want to break through. So when price gets up into the zone, if it's red, very simply, a slingshot is possible. So when we come up to this zone, whether it be a shallow or a deep zone, you can have a slingshot at the shallow, and you can have a slingshot in the, into the deeper zone. If you get into the deep, deeper zone, you possibly got what's called a failure trade coming on. But let's specifically go this video on the slingshot. If we come up and are touching the zone or into the zone at all, whether it be a shallow or deep retracement, you possibly have a nice slingshot coming. And that's what happened all day yesterday is a slingshot day. You'll want this small oscillator to get above 80. So you want to get above 80, a big red thick line. And then you want to shoot down through minimum down through this 40, not sell zone. This is, a, this is where you're going to sell, but this is called the buy zone. One second. Change that. You want to get to the bull zone because 40s are bull zone. That's where we're looking for the market to hold. So once that small oscillator, if we are red zones, you'll want the small oscillator to get below this threshold right here. That will get the market moving. That's the minimum threshold we need to break through. As you can see, the market starts falling apart. The next one came around 9, what, 9.50 in the morning. We got up to the shallow zone and started touching it yesterday on the S&P. And we had a full retracement. We had a shallow, it broke through the bear zone, got above 80, which it has to do. And it came back down through the bull zone right here, minimum 40. And then the slingshot occurred again. So you can see what we want to happen is, and this will happen on the strategy also, is it, it's necessary, it's got to get into the zone, and it's also got to use a small oscillator to pull yourself in. So another nice big move. And then we had one last one that came right at top of the shallow zone yesterday. But 
that was not a slingshot because that was not into or at in the zone, but more importantly, we did not get above 80. So you can sell, see that this was not a slingshot trade because I need to get above 80 and I need to get back below. This is more of a momentum trade happening in the market. Your large oscillator was below 40. The market was weak. So that's how you, you, you look at slingshots to the downside. On the upside, we had a trend change here. We went from red to green. Now this is the 120.20. 120.20. Then we start moving to the buy side. These zones are very important in reversing prices. You can see it caught this major high yesterday. And now it's caught this major low. Going into the close yesterday. And then now we're moving up right now. Well, the slingshot buy is the opposite. You'll want to get into the shallow or deeper zone. You'll want now you'll want to get through 20, the small oscillator through 20, and now back up minimum through 65, which is your bear zone. You want to break through that to get that confirmed that that is a slingshot. We got to move up. Then the market moves down into the zone again here, but look how you can avoid slingshots on getting you stopped out on the slingshots it's, that has a low probability of success because we got below 20, but we never shot back up through the bear zone. So this is a non-trade on a slingshot. Your oscillator did not confirm the zone. So this is a no trade. So now what we're gonna do look at this morning, since we're looking at price action this morning, here we are, we're trading live right now at 45.05. We're going to be looking for a slingshot buy. We'll want this small oscillator to get below 20 and shoot back up through our bear zone minimum 65. So that's what we're looking for now. We're looking for a push up through. We're looking for a push up through the, we're first looking for a retracement down through 20. And then we'll look for a push this morning up through the bear zone minimum 65. The reason we use this bear and bull zone signal lines as a confirmation of these reversal zones, because we know that my 65 line and 40 line are used in momentum trades. Like these, these three are momentum trades, right? Momentum trades are where this oscillator stays below minimum 65 for sells or above minimum 40 for buys. So these are all momentum cells. These are not slingshots. Slingshots is where you get a, it's almost like a rubber band. I use the analogy of holding it with your left hand, stretching with your right hand, and then letting it go, stretching it really far, letting it go, and it snaps back. These are ret deep retracements, deep retracement slingshots. Here, deep retracement slingshot. We'll work for a deep retracement slingshot over here too. Ideally, what would happen is we come down into the shallower deeper zone again and then this morning we get right up through that uh, that bear zone again and get this market cranking to the upside so this is the 12020 that's our main slingshot trade we use we look for failure trades on that also that's a real key chart to use when we're doing these uh, setups Okay, so let's get that over here. So that's the trade setup we're looking for now on the failure. Now, can you use can you use the slingshot on a small one thirteen thirteen? Yes. When you're using the one thirteen thirteen, the same thing applies. It's just a smaller Renko. So here's your zone, red zone. You get above eighty, but see how the oscillator does not get below minimum 40 and what's the price do it sets a higher higher into the zone then we get our speed bar which is an exhaustion point yeah you love opposite color speed bars into the zones it's telling you you're catching rolling position traders right here i love when this happens right into the shallow zone 
and your entry point is going to be the break minimum of the bear I mean of the bull uh, the bull zone between minimum 40 down to uh, down to 20 so that's a slingshot right so you can use the slingshots here you can also use them for first wave trade so let's say you're away from the zone on the on the 13 on the one this is a smaller Rinko size it's the 113 13 let's say that you're in a smaller Rinko size can you still take a slingshot here you prefer to be into the zone but if you get a slingshot and it cuts down through the smaller Rinko size and the first wave you can treat it like a slingshot on the first wave in other words if I get a first wave trade right here this this can avoid a lot of headaches on a smaller Rinko size so you can see we go red to green and we have a momentum right afterwards but the most successful first wave trades are slingshot trades on a first wave meaning you're looking for a first wave up look how the oscillator gets below 20 here and shoots back up through minimum 65 for the big slingshot up then it does again on this wave so here's a slingshot that's an entry and I got an opposite color speed bar right at the low so we want to see and then here is our other slingshot over here it goes down through 20 back up through minimum 65 there so you can use the you can use for sling uh, for uh, the 113 you use slingshot trades also your most effective obviously is off the 120 because we're looking for we're looking for an extended move off that level we're looking for a nice extended move from that level now this is a, even a larger Rinko size the same thing happens you get these big extended failure trades but then take a look at the zone it comes into the zone we do not get above 80 do not get below 20 so that's not it this is not a slingshot but this is it's a huge move at 830 this is 4500 down to 4465 35 s p point potential you see it gets above 80 shoots down through and this gets the market rolling gets down through the bull zone then we get a momentum trade here where the small oscillator stays below 65 and then we get the big slingshot trade here to buy so it works on larger Rinko sizes also the slingshots are very very effective and then we get below 20 up through 65 there also so you can see the larger Rinko sizes you can get some nice movement off the slingshot also so I prefer the slingshots off the 120 but they do happen on the 130 and so on and you can get them off of the uh, smaller Rinko sizes as far as over here also so this morning particularly we're gonna look for the S&P we're gonna look for a slingshot trade we're gonna see if we can get this oscillator to get below 20 and then snap back through this 65 um, here this morning to get us going to the upside as far as that goes so that's something that we'll watch for um, as far as this morning goes we want to get down through we're in an uptrend we're pushing up yesterday was a serious downtrend we had a big sell at eight o'clock in the morning 745 big sell at nine nine forty I mean that that nine forty trade was forty four ninety and it got as low as what forty four sixty thirty s p point potential off that slingshot trade got right down through that bull zone minimum of 40 start cranking so now today it got above 65 here got above 65 there for two slingshot trades this one this one this is not a slingshot trade because it never it got below 20 but never got back below 80 this it did so your accuracy can be be, be really good with the slingshots if you watch that signal line getting through the bull and bear zones with the overall zones because the zones like I said you can see how they're very effective in calling these um, these retracements so we'll watch this morning 
we'll see a market profile. Here's our breakout level. Our breakout level this morning will be 4,500, and then uh, breakdown of 4,489, and that's how we're going to do our slingshot. So we'll, we'll see if we can get a retracement here this morning off the slingshot trade, um, see if that can uh, solidify here this morning.